So the reason I chose this subject is because we all um, see dogs with acute pancreatitis on a regular basis, and we have treatment recommendations that you get from books or what you've heard at proceedings, things like that. And so I found this topic or this paper to be particularly um, important in our evidence-based update series because it does specifically examine the evidence that we have available. This is an interesting approach taken in this paper. Basically, the um, authors uh, did a large literature search and they pulled pretty much every relevant article to pancreatitis and um, assigned a level of evidence based on the relevance and, and the uh, categories that I have listed here. So basically, they looked at hum large human studies, um, small human studies for that matter, um, as well as studies in dogs and also in rodents and other experimental models. And they assigned a level of evidence based on, on that. So the, the term level of evidence has been thrown around quite a lot in the last several years in veterinary medicine, and this is uh, how it's been defined. So there's four levels. Um, a would be the strongest level of evidence, and that would be consistent randomized controlled trials and cohort studies in different populations of subjects. And so we pretty much never have that in veterinary medicine. Um, if we have a retrospective or prospective study, it may be repeated. Sometimes we have contradictory results, and so that's where the consistent um, randomized trials need to come in. Um, level B studies would be consistent retrospective cohorts, um, experimental cohorts of the same species, or case control studies, or extrapolated from level A studies. Um, level C and D is where we are for the vast majority of our um, evidence in veterinary medicine. So C would be case, case series or extrapolated from level B um, studies. And then level D would be expert opinion, extrapolated from bench top research or first principles. And again, as Dr. Berger mentioned, first principles would be things that we just consider intuitive, but we don't have actual studies to prove 